Hello, this is Wahi Tanner from Electronic Thinking, and in this video I wanted to explain to you a traditional concept of logic gates with switches. I have two circuits drawn here, and you'll notice that it's a simple circuit with an LED, a resistor, and a couple switches in both cases. Um, the switches in the first circuit are connected in series. So in order for the LED to light, both switches have to be closed. This is what is traditionally known as an AND because both, switch, because both switches A and B have to be closed uh, in order for the LED to turn on. Now in the, switch, in the circuit down here, uh, these switches are connected in parallel. So in this case, either A or B or both of them can be closed for the LED to turn on. The only time the LED would be off is if switch A and B are both open. Now one difference, um, oh, the, I should mention this is called a OR arrangement, so it switches A or B. Um, one thing I want to talk about is the distinction between this type of circuit in electronics versus how we would normally talk about the OR condition in English. If you're talking about two cases like this in English, and you know, when you're just talking, maybe you're telling somebody that you can have milk or water, you normally uh, do not intend to convey the meaning that uh, the other person can choose milk and water both. It is so that it's, it's, it's normally taken to be an exclusive OR condition, not an inclusive OR condition. If we want to give the option of saying that a person can have either one or the other or both of them, we would say that explicitly and you would say something like, okay, you can have milk or water or both. But in electronics, when you're talking about the OR case, it really can be A or B or both. And you don't need to actually specify both. Now, I have here a circuit that, uh, two circuits actually, the same two circuits that we built here. We've got the battery pack here, and I've constructed these circuits such that we have a 1000 ohm resistor in each case, and in this circuit, uh, we're using the two switches that you have, and the circuit, the, the resistor, connects to the positive side of the battery and comes up to an empty uh, connection. I bring a wire over to the middle terminal of the first switch, and then connecting the left terminal of the first switch over to the middle terminal of the second switch, and then another wire from the left terminal of the second switch over to an empty connector where the LED is going to ground. And on this circuit over here, we've got a 1000 ohm resistor going from the uh, positive supply of the battery pack to an empty connector to the middle terminal of both switches, so both switches are connected in parallel, and then another wire going from the left terminal of the switch to an empty connector to an LED going to ground. So in both these cases, we're not using the other side of the switch. So in this case, with the AND, uh, when they are both to flip to the right-hand side, then this is considered off because we're using the left side of the connectors. So if I was to move the first one on, the LED is still off, and if I move the second one on, now the LED turns on. So if we, if we go through all the possible conditions, when they're both off, the LED is off. When one of them is on, the LED is off. We'll move that one back off again, turn the other one on, the LED is still off. And if we turn them both on, now only does the LED light up. So the first switch and the second switch have to be in the on position in order for the LED to light. Now in this circuit over here, they are both currently to the flip to the right hand direction, so the LED is off. If I was to flip the first one to the left, the LED immediately comes on. And if we turn it back off and we turn the second one, to the on position, again the LED turns on and if they are both in the on position the LED remains on. 
So in the first case we have the first switch and the second switch both have to be on to light up the LED and in the second case the first switch or the second switch uh, can be on to light up the LED. Now in another video I'm going to explain to you how thinking in terms of switches like this is not exactly what we would be uh, thinking in terms of when we're talking about logic gates but I'll explain the difference between uh, switches and actual logic gates in another video.